Well, g'day guys, I'm back and I'm Katsi here, the host of A-League 365. It's great to have you in there. And this is excellent news out of Adelaide United today. After the massive news for the A-League that Aaron Moore had already re-signed with Melbourne City FC as their marquee player, John Hall has re-signed with a two-year deal with Adelaide United to be their backup goalkeeper to Eugene Gilekovic. It's great news for Adelaide United, obviously losing Paul Izzo, looking for more game time, who he moved to the Central Coast Mariners. And I'm just excited that John Hall can re-sign, be the backup. He got some minutes last year in that drubbing of Newcastle, the 7 nil win. He played in the last 30 minutes of it. But hopefully he gets a bit more of a taste of league football and maybe a bit more of a taste in the FFA Cup. But John is a very exciting young player. Here's what it said from the press release with Adelaide United today. The Adelaide United are delighted to announce the signing of young South Australian and goalkeeper John Hall to a two-year contract extension. Hall stands at 195 centimetres tall and is a great signing for the Reds and has always been their first choice for that position. Um, quote from Hall here, I love the club, I love the guys in the team and I love the coaches. They've been really happy um, and have really helped me develop as a player. It was the ideal situation to stay in Adelaide and to move up as the second keeper. Being next to the line was giving me more confidence knowing they'll get opportunities than when I was, the more than I was getting. Obviously, last year it was a struggle for him. He was third choice and could quite easily be a backup for most keepers in the league. But obviously, Adelaide had Paul Izzo, an excellent uh, young goalkeeper. who and We saw them sort of bounce between back and forth, but Izzo, for I'd say 75% of the time, was a backup keeper. Uh, also quoting Hawley here, Eugene is the best keeper in the league and Blazza, uh, is the best coach in the league. I'm in, always watching Eugene. If I do anything wrong, he'll let me know and tell me what I can do better. I really appreciate the environment that I'm in. Then Adelaide United CEO Michael Petrillo said the club is delighted to be able to keep John for an extended period. No pun intended there, Michael. John has showed tremendous improvement under the guidance of Blazer over the last years, and we are more than comfortable having him here as Eugene's understudy. His selection in last year's the Oli Roos squad is a testament to his development into a keeper who we know is ready to take up the next step in the next level. His temperament, work ethic and ability have never been in doubt and we'll see him as a keeper with an exceptional future ahead of him. Hall was a product of Cumberland United, a local club here in South Australia. And it's just great news. I'm very happy with the signing. I don't think he'll play much, but it's obviously it's great to have someone on uh, Eugene's toes. He's still got another couple of years into him. Um, but it's just a good signing, a smart signing from Adelaide, keeping the local South Australia uh, players born and bred. Obviously, guys, I am Will Cuts here for A-League 365. Go check out our website at a-league365.com or follow me on Twitter at Cuts here with two Ys or A-League 365 on Twitter with basically A-League 365. Also, check out our Facebook page. Give that one a like with up-to-date information on the Hyundai A-League and up-to-date video content with my beautiful face on it. And also, guys, please go check out our YouTube um, page and please give that one a subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow, guys, though, for our massive first ever panel show where we join with a couple of panelists talking about the whole new FFA um, collective bargaining agreement that they've got in process here with the salary cap. There's been some massive changes, though, what might affect your club with the season coming up and also talk about the new no news from Melbourne City signing a few new players and re-signing Aaron Moy and just basically previewing and reviewing the FFA Cup that is coming up with the round of 16 and round of 32 finishing tonight. So happy that you guys could watch this video. I am Will Cuts for A-League 365, and we'll catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.